What's up guys? My name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And I wanted to talk to you about an interesting topic today. There's there's no play breakdown, but I think this might be one of the most important videos I ever post on my YouTube channel. And it's because I think there there I know there's a lot of power in what I'm about to tell you. Most people don't realize it. So real quick, I'm, I'm going to go to the custom playbooks. And the only reason is just to show you some illustrations. illustrations. So th my favorite offensive playbook is Pittsburgh Steelers. That's that's the playbook that I've found very effective in Madden 17. Um, you know, and I'm hoping that it's as effective in Madden 18. It probably will be because they don't change too much. So here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk about the importance of what I say clarity. And and here here's the thing. So when you go through your your formation, so if if I went to I'm not I don't even know I haven't looked. So shotgun bunch, the audible deep passes verticals in Pittsburgh. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go and check here, single back bunch. What's the what's the audible? Drive Texas. Okay. So that's different than verticals, but I'm sure verticals is in here somewhere. It's or it's not in this one. Okay. The reason I'm saying that. Let me get into another one. That was a bad example. <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is because what most people don't understand is the deep pass. So shotgun bunch, there's verticals. Shotgun bunch, there's uh, or, uh, let's go to a trips. Any type of trips. Verticals, four verticals, four verticals, four verticals, four verticals, four verticals. So, so the reason I'm saying that, and the reason I just did that, is I want I wanted you to catch what I just did. I went to multiple formations, multiple multiple sets, wide trips, trips tight and offset, trips trip, whatever, whatever thing you want to do. And you can do the same thing for Pittsburgh. It just wasn't in a single back bunch. But if you go trio, verticals, trips, verticals, wing trio, verticals, wide trips, verticals, single back big is different, bunch is different, doubles is verticals again. Single back wide trips, four verticals. Shotgun doubles, uh, I bet will be verticals. No, it's Y sale. Okay, so that's different. Normal Y slot. Nope. Okay, they, they got me on that one. Verticals in the empty. Verticals in the empty. Boom, boom, boom. Everywhere you look, you see this play verticals. The reason I'm doing this is, is I want you to understand what I'm about to say is so powerful. There's not much that actually helps you win a game of Madden. Most formations have the same basic routes and plays. You will come across in every playbook one formation that has maybe a unique route or a unique little tweak to it um, that will add some value, but it's not the core. So, so if you thought of it as a percentage, so let's say 100% makes you a good player. 99%, okay, 99% of being a good Madden player is executing the basics to perfection. Again, I said 99%, and most of you, when I say 99%, here's what you think in your head. Oh, so that means 1% is about finding the perfect play. What, what I would encourage you to do is focus on the 99%, and then worry about the 1% after the 99 is is well done. Okay, well done. So so for me, the, re the reason I said all that is because I want to talk to you today about journaling. So a practice that I've been doing in, in my personal life is I journal every day and I ask myself, you know, a couple of critical questions. And I'll put those questions for you in the description below. Uh, and I, I'm going to tweak those to apply to Madden. But basically, what I want to start doing, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to suggest that you have to do it every day. Um, what I would suggest, though, is if you're going to work on your playbook specifically, your playbook specifically, do this journaling practice. Um, so, so basically, you'll ask yourself three questions, um, or 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 four, three to four questions, and I'll put those in the description. But essentially, what they're going to do is those questions are going to, are designed not necessarily for you to answer the question. They're designed to force you to focus on what you on what the answer should be. So what play in my playbook do I use? What is what if I if I could only use one play for, for the rest of my Madden career, what would it be? And then you write that down. 
Uh, and then secondly, if I could only use two plays in one game and I had to use those two plays together and they had to be from the same formation, what would they be? And then the third, the third question is, is in, if, if I had a gun to my head, if I had a gun to my head and I had to play a game of Madden, okay, I had to play a game of Madden and I couldn't, I could not pick the play. I could, I could not pick the play. How would I win that game? Um, what, what would I focus on to be effective? What would I focus on to be effective? Not focusing on the plays. Okay. So again, it's designed to force you to answer these, answer these questions and you write them down. The importance of writing something down with, cause I was thinking as I was putting this together, you know, what, will they even be interested? Does it matter? Is it worth it? You know, they're going to write it down. So, cause like I used to do that. I used to hear people tell me all the time, well, write it down, write it down, write your notes down, write it down. And I kept thinking, well, my notes are going to change. I'm, I don't want to waste I, my hand hurts after I write a bunch. I don't want to even go through that because I don't see any benefit and I don't see any benefit in writing something down. Why don't I just type it out? Or why don't I just uh, think it out and talk it out and record it out? Or why don't I just save the video in my playlist? Here's why you need to write it down on a piece of paper. When you write something down with your hand on a piece of paper, your mind becomes more focused on what it's actually doing. That is why people who are in the monastery, monks and things like that, or professional writers or whatever, people that do handwriting, written by hand, are more productive, more effective, and ultimately more successful than people who do not. And the reason is because for nothing else, it allows them to focus. It has nothing to do with what they put on the page. It has nothing to do with a proper reference. You will never look back at this note guaranteed. You do, you should come back to it. But what I want you to do, journal through that, write the answers down on paper so that you can see them. And then then after afterward, what you have to do, what you have to absolutely do is stay committed to what you wrote down. Most people will write things down and they'll get it and mentally it makes sense now. Okay, I see I you know I see why you use the bunch from pit because as Z spot PA posts and stick and verticals and base and th those are the five plays really you, you need. But what I don't what, but but then you'll be going in, what will happen inevitably is you'll be playing an online match or something, you'll be playing somebody in a game of Madden and they'll be doing something that you say, oh, well, if I if I streak the running back, well, that's going to work better. Or if I if I was in tight doubles on, I just kind of want to go check out wide receiver cross. I just kind of want to go check out, uh, you know, uh, empty bunch wide, whatever it is. Don't do it. Don't do it. OK, if you're going to do it, you have to be intentional about it. We're going to talk about that in an upcoming video because I'm re I'm actually rethinking practice mode entirely. Um, because what I'm trying to do is number one, save you time, but number two, and more importantly, give you better results on the field to help you win more games. Because that, at the end of the day, we want to be very good at winning games. We want to win a lot of games, we want to win tournaments, win money, be the best player we can be. And I want to give you the, the simplest and most effective steps to do. Um, but, but just journal on those questions for now, and uh, I'll have something up this evening. We'll talk a little bit about practice mode and some of the things you can do to get better. Uh, but anyways, guys, if this is your first time checking my channel out, normally I do a lot of play, play breakdowns, lab tips, things like that. That's a little bit different. So uh, head over to the channel and subscribe and see, if, uh, see what we have going on over there. If you have any questions, please let me know in the, in the comments. But uh, let me know what you think about this. I want to hear your thoughts. But in my experience, I've played Madden. Uh, really pretty competitively for about seven, uh, about six, seven years. And I, I consistently, I consistently make the mistake of making it too complicated. Okay. So let me know, but I really believe in, in what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to leave those questions for you in the description and let me know your thoughts. Thanks guys.